Hello and welcome back to the H2O YouTube channel. Today we're going to take a deeper look at our favourite meddler, Sophie. Sophie only appears in series 3 of H2O. She is Will's older sister and is the main antagonist to the three mermaids. Sophie has a very forceful personality and pushes Will very hard in his freediving training. That was shorter than last time, you're going backwards. I'm letting the water beat you. I'm tired. Oh, well maybe there's a tired divers category at the freediving championships, but I doubt it. So, you gonna take a nap with the rest of the losers or are you gonna try and win this thing? She immediately takes a disliking to Bella and labels her a bad influence to Will. What's Will about? He's got training. He's always got training. And that's how you get to be good. But he should have other things going on in his life. I mean, he can't be happy training all the time. Other things meaning you, I suppose. No, actually, I just meant that he should have lots of things going on in his life. I know what you meant, and he's got lots going on. He's going to be a champion, and it's my job to see he's got no distractions. But it's his life. You can't make all of the decisions for him. Well, I've made this one. Sophie is very clever and knows how to get what she wants. Like that time she swindled her way into working at Ricky's Cafe. What are you doing here? Lining up for the job. Hey, no jumping the queue! No! Sorry to barge in. I'm here about the job interview. Yeah. Come right in. My girlfriend's taking care of the interviews. Ah, oh, no problem. Hey, um, have I, I've, I've seen you somewhere before. Really? I wonder where. In my dreams. <laughs> Was I being nice? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll just wait outside then. I want to thank you all for coming, but I have some bad news. The position has been filled. We've been waiting an hour. Who are you, anyway? Who do you think I might be? You're not the manageress. I know what she looks like. And do you know what the assistant manageress looks like? This sucks. Please feel free to leave your CVs for any future openings. Where's everyone else? They got impatient and went home. You're the only one? What experience have you had? Only good ones. Not so good for my old bosses, though. Why not? Well, because they missed me when I was gone. <laughs> right. Well, you see, the thing is, I was supposed to wait for Ricky. Oh, cool. I've got other job interviews I've got to make anyway. Office work. Hey, you know what? Um... Why don't you just start? I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it will. She also has a mean and wicked streak and causes a lot of trouble for the mermaids. Sorry. Hey, where's my drink? I could die of thirst over here. It's coming. Enjoy. What's wrong? It's hot. <laughs> what? There must be some sort of mistake. Not off to a good start. Yeah, and you made her. I'm so sorry. I just used what was there. Don't worry. I'm onto it. I don't know how that happened. Despite Sophie mistreating Will, they do in fact have quite a strong bond. But how would the head of an international dive suit company even hear about me? I went to his office and told him. And he's interested. I told him where we're headed, that you're going to be world champion, and this is his chance to get in on the ground floor. Whoa. <laughs> so now I'm going to get him to tomorrow's session, even if I have to drag him there. Tomorrow? I'm not ready. Yes, you are. 
What if I'm a letdown? You won't be. Just do what you do and he'll be blown away. Are you sure? I promise you. Thanks, Soph. As soon as Sophie moves to town, she gets a crush on Zayn and pursues him immediately. I think it's time I got a job. Who's he? His name's Zayn. He's loaded. He's a moron. Looks okay to me. Hey! We're just going for a swim. Why aren't we doing the staff interviews today? Yeah, not for an hour and a half. What if you're not back? Deal with it. We're looking for someone to wait tables, not a rocket scientist. She's still trying to make time with you. Just being friendly. You want to do some more training? No, I'm done. I'll catch you later then. Now let's take a look at some of her key moments. Sophie steals Bella's idea about the dolphin rescue fundraiser, but the whole situation comes crashing down on her. Like a concert? I guess. Yeah, we could do it. We could put a fundraising concert on at the cafe. Rock for Rescue. Well, Ricky would support it for sure. Dolphin Rescue would love it. Yeah. Not interrupting, Hope? Got any more dishes? Uh, no, thanks, sis. Seriously, you should at least ask, say. We all know he loves being in the spotlight. Well, yeah, I mean, it'd get in the papers for sure, and maybe even TV. It'd be great publicity for the cafe. A fundraising concert. Inside? For who? To raise money for Dolphin Rescue. Uh, and the cafe would do the whole thing for free. Yeah, but think of the publicity. It's sure to get in the papers, maybe even on TV. Uh, TV? Yeah, we could host it. Bella's band could play. We'll have to make sure the press knows all about it. This is a really good idea. Thank you. It'll be a lot of work. Hiring extra gear, putting on extra staff. I guess I'd better get started then. Uh, or you could let me do it. I feel kind of bad coming up with the idea than dumping it all on you. Well, I mean, we could do it together. Sure, but like you don't have enough to do already and there'll be so many details to sort out, especially with the publicity. I guess. That's true. I mean, we don't want to leave anything to chance. Okay. The whole thing's your baby. Just keep us updated. Totally. You're saying I stole your idea? So I'm a thief? No, you're just not telling the whole truth. So I'm a liar? Well, a bit. Well, she might be over-enthusiastic, She but... was right there! I know you don't like me because I think you're a bad influence on Will. That has nothing to do with it. But I think the important thing here is the dolphins. I agree. Then what's it matter whose idea it was? She's right, it doesn't matter. Not to her, it wasn't her idea. And you know it. Hey, Bella, come on. You're overreacting. No, I'm not. I don't understand him. Why can't he see what she's doing? I don't care what the time is. If I'm up, you should be too. I need to know that I will have it by tomorrow. Hello, Ricky's Cafe. Hi, Laurie, how are you? Um, not that good, actually. Sorry, I, I don't understand. Is there something wrong? Oh, that, that's putting it mildly. Dolphin Rescue are going to pull out of the concert. Uh, why? Because we can't afford it. Can't afford it? Sorry, I, I don't understand. The fundraiser is about making you money. Well, that's not what your email led me to believe. My email? Well, it's an hour till we start and we haven't got a band. I'm not surprised, seeing as Sophie here's been trying to charge bands to appear. Charge them? And get this, she's also been trying to charge Dolphin Rescue. The very people we're trying to help. They're getting the profits and publicity out of it. The least they can do is help us cover some costs. But we're advertising we're doing it for free. It didn't seem right to me that you should have to cop all those expenses. Oh, so it was to protect us? Yes. And that's why you attached my name to the email that you sent to Dolphin Rescue? Hey, I'm making serious money for dolphins. I'm the good guy here. Well, I see why Bella quit now. OK, maybe I made some mistakes, but you need me to make this work. Ah, oh, see, I, I don't think we do. Is that you? No. I don't think we do either. 
You're firing me? After all the work I've put in. All wasted on someone else's idea. We all remember when Sophie pretty much broke up Zayn and Ricky with that infamous kiss. They should be back up by now. Mining Mako Island? No one could be that evil, could they? Oh no, wait, Sophie did that. Talking about mining in a national park. No one will know until it's too late, right? Look, this is what we went for. There's more than enough there to convince the world that something extraordinary is going on out there. You want to start a gold rush before we've even got our share? Oh, he's right. We split what's here and everyone's happy. That was the plan. That was before we knew the cave was loaded with this stuff. I say we get all we can. I knew this was a mistake. It's enough. Not for me. The, the walls are unstable. We've got to get out of here. Then you go. What have you done? I knew one day I'd be able to help you. Look, I've set us up for life. We all have to leave. You heard him now. I thought you were with me on this. Some things are more important than money. Leave them. I'm doing this for both of us. I don't want any of them. What's more important to you? Me or the money? I love you, sis, but if you take these, you'll lose me. I don't want to lose you. The character of Sophie Benjamin is played by Taryn Marler. She has had roles in Blue Water High and The Hamster Snatcher. You can stay up to date with her on Instagram. That's all for our character profile on Sophie. If you love her as much as we do, then like this video to show her some appreciation and tell us your favourite Sophie moments in the comments below. Who should we explore next from H2O Just Add Water? Cause I'm not